All right, this is take two in terms of uh, the uh, uh, tutorial series on uh, um, setting up a, uh, or rather doing a, a application in DirectX 12. It's not a C++ tutorial. Um, uh, it's uh, focused on the DirectX 12 uh, API. Um, yeah, on the live stream, I ran into Visual Studio problems. So this is take two. Um, uh, yeah, I'll do questions uh, from uh, um, uh, the chat uh, at the end of uh, parts of this video series. Um, if I uh, left anything out, uh, you can always watch the original live stream in the archive. Um, OK, I'll set up the Visual Studio project here. Uh, let's clean everything up in here. Yeah, I'll try uh, one more time do it, to do it fast. Uh, um, and then uh, uh, if it doesn't uh, work, uh, we will do um, something else. Uh, the solution will be DirectX 12 framework. Uh, there we go. Path seems to check out. Uh, we don't need this. This will export as an DLL. We will set up our configurations shortly. Uh, uh, configuration manager, didn't I have one? OK, anyway, we will do it like this. We will remove the platform, and we will uh, remove the Win32 configuration platform, uh, or rather platform. Um, and we will create a source directory here. And we will delete these. And we will move the PCH files. All right. Um, we will add a project to this, which will be an empty project. And we will do the application here. Uh, we will add dependencies to our engine. Now that looks right. Uh, we will create a source folder. And we will set this as our uh, startup project. Oh my god. Uh, hopefully, uh, we will. Uh, we will do our main function here. Whoops. Uh, why does it? Oh, it. Maybe at least it did it all in uh, the same uh, solution directory. Um, Uh, Visual Studio 
doesn't create lib file for dll does not generate it yeah uh okay we still do uh the export Yeah, I know, buddy, but uh, I've done DLLs in my other project, so I'm uh, um, uh, uh, going to implement it uh, the same way. And uh, uh, let's do the macro that it already supplied for us, uh, engine exports. So we don't need to uh, do it uh, else, and we will do define a YouTube API. Yeah, sure thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's. Uh, YouTube API. Uh, DLL import. Uh, and we include this in our PCH file. The engine minimum. Uh, Okay. And we of course need to build a um or rather add a uh, solution directory slash engine slash source uh as our in a include path for uh, our application here. Let's do a temp class. Which we will move to here. Yeah, uh, hopefully we're done uh, setting up uh, shortly. Uh, let's see YouTube API because this is really not interesting public uh int test um, okay and let's see can we now include yeah we can include our temporary class here uh, Let's see, I made a mistake somewhere. Uh. Let me see. Okay, at least we're now not getting uh, the um, the whole. Uh... Oh, I uh, swapped these. <laughs> there we go. And we need to. Well, it should. Uh, use the precompiled header here. Uh, precompiled headers use, and we have set up precompiled headers here. Create. Well, okay. 
we will include our engine minimum here. And we, we're going. All right. Uh, yeah. For some reason, it wants uh, us to uh, include the thing, even though it's part of a pre-compiled header. All right. Finally, we got set up. So um, the last thing we need to do is uh, make sure our output directories uh, uh, work uh, correctly. Let's see. <laughs> Yeah, thank you to Malformed Era to uh, point out that uh, the right fix was uh, the export and import. Um, it uh, was the same thing that um, Stack Overflow mentioned several times. All right, let's make sure that our output directory is correct. Uh, we combine it with our platform, our configuration, our intermediate stuff. Well, that should be fine. Let's uh, simply uh, check out that every configuration works. And let's see if uh, our uh, application here is runnable. Well, nothing happens. So, uh... okay, great stuff. Great stuff. So uh, let me just uh, chunk this uh, in terms of the YouTube series um, video archive um, slash uh, tutorial series. Um, so I'm going to end this here. It's uh, uh, the basic uh, project setup. I'll just uh, do the next step uh, shortly.